Hi guys, welcome to Engineered Math Channel. In this video, I will teach you about integration using U substitution. So if you want to learn more about this, just keep on watching. Okay, for this video, I will teach you how to evaluate integrals using U substitution. So we use U substitution if ever we are given an integral that cannot be evaluated easily using the existing formula. We will be focusing on integrals involving algebraic functions. So basically, we will apply here the power formula for integration. So if you haven't watched yet about my previous video about basic integration using power rule, I will just put the link on the description so that you can watch it first. So for number 1, we have the integral of 3x minus 4 quantity raised to the 5th dx. So we cannot evaluate the integral directly because there's no existing formula for this form of integral. Or actually, we can evaluate this by expanding the 5th power of this binomial, but this will be a tedious task to do. So what we will do is we can apply the u substitution. So, we will let u be equal to any of the expression in the integral. So, we prioritize those complicated expressions in the integral to be our u and also those expressions that will yield the other terms in the integral when we differentiate. Yes, so when we use substitution, we will also apply the derivatives. So, I will show you later. So, going back to the problem, what expression in the integral that we can let be equal to u? So obviously, there's just a single expression in the integral, which is this 3x minus 4, who's being raised to the 5th power. So we can let u be equal to 3x minus 4, and then we get the derivative of both sides. So derivative of u, that's just 1, right? But after we differentiate, we must always put a differential of the variable that we use. In this substitution, we use u, so we must put differential du. So we have 1 du or simply du. Equal, so we get the derivative also of the right side. So we can differentiate term by term. So derivative of 3x, that's just 3, minus the derivative of 4 is 0. So 3 minus 0, that's just 3. And likewise, we always put the differential of the variable that we differentiate. So that's x, right? So we must put also dx. We have created the dx term here in uh, du is equal to 3 dx. So we must transform all the variables in the integral in terms of u as well as the differential. But on the original integral, we don't have a coefficient of 3, right? So what I can do is get rid of that in the dx by dividing both sides by 3. So canceling out 3, we have dx is equal to du over 3. And then we can now substitute. So we have the integral of, so 3x minus 4, that's just equal to u. And don't forget, it is raised to the fifth power. And then this dx is now equal to du over 3. So this denominator of 3, it also means a fraction of 1 third. So we can just put it in front of the integral first. So we have 1 third integral of u to the fifth du. So we can evaluate this integral using power rule. So recall, integral of u to the n du is equal to u to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c, provided that n is not equal to negative 1. So therefore, we have 1 third times the integral of u to the 5th, so applying this formula. So we have u to the 5 plus 1 over 5 plus 1 plus c. So we have 1 third u to the 5 plus 1 is 6 over 6 plus c. Or we can simplify 1 third times 1 6, that's 1 over 18 u to the 6 plus c. So last step is we always transform the variable u in terms of the original variable x. So we have u equal to 3x minus 4. So therefore, we have 1 over 18 replacing u in terms of x which is 3x minus 4 raised to the 6th plus c. So therefore, this is the final answer. 
For the second problem, we have the integral of cube root of x plus 2 quantity squared dx. So since we have a radical here, we can transform this first in terms of fractional exponent. So cube root of x plus 2 quantity squared is the same as raising x plus 2 to 2 thirds dx. So we apply again the u substitution. So we let u be equal to x plus 2. Get the derivative of both sides. So derivative of u, that's du. Derivative of x plus 2, derivative of x is 1. Plus derivative of 2, it's 0. So we have 1 plus 0 or 1 dx or it's just dx. So we already have the differential dx in terms of du. So substituting, we have the integral of x plus 2 that's now equal to u raised to the 2 thirds power. Then this dx is now equal to du. Again, we can apply the power rule to evaluate this integral. So integral of 2 thirds du that's now equal to u raised to 2 thirds plus 1 over 2 thirds plus 1 plus c. So simplifying 2 thirds plus 1 that's equal to 5 thirds over 2 thirds plus 1 also 5 thirds plus c. Then simplifying this expression so we get the reciprocal of 5 thirds so that's 3 fifth multiplied by u raised to the 5 thirds plus c. Again transform back the u in terms of x which is x plus 2 so we will have 3 fifths times x plus 2 raised to the 5 thirds power plus c. So therefore, this is the final answer. For the third problem, we have the integral of x cubed square root of 1 minus x to the fourth dx. So I can transform first this square root in terms of fractional exponent. So that's equal to 1 minus x to the fourth raised to 1 half dx. And then we apply u substitution. So we let u be equal. So let's try the expression inside the radical, the square root, which is 1 minus x to the fourth. And then we differentiate both sides. So derivative of u, that's du. Derivative of the right side, 1 minus x to the fourth. So derivative of 1, that's 0. Minus derivative of x to the fourth. So that's 4x cubed. So we have 0 minus 4x cubed. So that's just simply equal to negative 4x cubed. Then don't forget the dx. So looking at the integral, notice that we have created this term x cubed dx when we differentiated the right side 1 minus x to the fourth. But we just have an extra coefficient of negative 4. So I will get rid of that by dividing both sides by negative 4. So canceling out negative 4, I have x cubed dx equal to negative du over 4. So let's substitute. We have the integral of, so this 1 minus x to the fourth, that's just equal to u, raised to 1 half. And then this x cubed dx, that's now equal to negative du over 4. We can place this negative 1 fourth as a constant in front of the integral first. So that's the same as negative 1 fourth integral of u to the 1 half du. So we can apply the power rule. So negative 1 fourth integral of u to the 1 half. So that's u raised to 1 half plus 1 over 1 half plus 1 plus c. Simplifying, we have negative 1 fourth u raised to 1 half plus 1. That's 3 halves over 1 half plus 1, also 3 halves. Then simplifying this fraction, so we have negative 1 fourth times the reciprocal of 3 halves, that's 2 thirds, u to the 3 halves plus c. So negative 1 fourth times 2 thirds, so cancel this 2, 4 becomes 2, so we are left with negative 1 over 2 times 3 or 6. So negative 1, 6, u to the 3 halves plus c. And then don't forget to transform back the u in terms of x. That's 1 minus x to the fourth. So the final answer is negative 1 sixth times 1 minus x to the fourth raised to 3 halves plus c. For number 4, we have the integral of x to the fifth dx over 
quantity x to the 6 minus 1 raised to the 5th power. Again, let's have u substitution. So, if we let u be equal to x to the 6th minus 1, we get the derivative of both sides. Derivative of u, that's du. Derivative of x to the 6th minus 1. For x to the 6, its derivative is 6x to the 5th minus derivative of 1, that's 0. So we simply have 6x to the 5th dx. So notice that we have created this term in the derivative of x to the 6th minus 1. But we just get rid of this extra coefficient of 6 so that I can divide both sides by 6. So, canceling out 6, we have x to the 5th dx is equal to du over 6. I can substitute integral of, so let's start with x to the 5th dx, that's now equal to du over 6, all over x to the 6th minus 1, that's now equal to u, then raised to the 5th power. So, this 1 6th is just a constant. I can just put it in front of the integral first. So, we have 1 6th integral of du over u to the 5th. So, we can evaluate this integral by making 1 over u to the 5th as a negative exponent first. So, that's 1 6th integral of u to the negative 5 du. So, applying power rule, we have 1 6 times integral of u to the negative 5. So, that's u to the negative 5 plus 1 over negative 5 plus 1 plus c. So, simplifying, we have 1 6 times u to the negative 5 plus 1 is negative 4 over negative 5 plus 1 also negative 4 plus c. So, simplifying this fraction, that's 1 6 times negative 1 fourth. So, that will be negative 1 over 24 u to the negative 4 of, or if we try to transform this into positive exponents that's just the same as 1 over u to the 4th plus c so we can have negative 1 over 24 u to the 4th plus c but don't forget to transform back the u in terms of x which is x to the 6th minus 1 so the final answer is negative 1 over 24 times quantity x to the 6th minus 1 raised to the 4th power plus c. For number 5, we have the integral of quantity 1 plus the square root of x raised to the 5th power over square root of x dx. So, let's apply your substitution so we can let you be equal. So, let's try this expression 1 plus the square root of x. So, getting the derivative of both sides, derivative of u, it's du. Derivative of 1 plus the square root of x. So, derivative of 1, it's just 0. So, no need to write. Get the derivative of square root of x. So, take note, square root of x is the same as x raised to 1 half. So, applying power rule, derivative of x raised to 1 half will be 1 half x raised to 1 half minus 1 or negative 1 half dx. So, Transforming this into positive exponent, so that's the same as 1 over 2 x raised to 1 half dx. Or this x raised to 1 half in terms of radical form, that's just the same as square root of x. So notice that we have created this term dx over the square root of x in the derivative of square root of x. But we just have an extra coefficient of 1 half. So to get rid of that, I can multiply both sides by 2. So 2 times du, that's 2 du. And 2 times 1 half cancel out. We are left with dx over square root of x. So we can now substitute. So we have the integral of. So 1 plus the square root of x, that's now equal to u. Then raised to the 3 fifths power. And then this dx over the square root of x, that's now equal to 2 du. So this 2 is just constant. I can just put it in front of the integral. So we have 2 integral of u to the 3 fifths du. So applying power formula to evaluate the integral of u to the 3 fifths. So that's u to the 3 fifths plus 1 over 3 fifths plus 1 plus c. Simplifying, we have 2u raised to, so 3 fifths plus 1, that's equal to 8 over 5 over 3 fifths plus 1, also 8 over 5. 
plus C. Simplifying this fraction, so that will be 2 times the reciprocal of 8 over 5, that's 5 over 8, times u to the 8 over 5 plus C. E. So multiply 2 times 5 over 8, so cancel the 2, 8 becomes 4, so we are left with 5 over 4, u to the 8 over 5 plus C. E. And finally, don't forget to transform back the u in terms of x, that's... 1 over the square root of x. So the final answer is 5 over 4 times the quantity 1 plus the square root of x raised to the 8 fifths power plus c. For number 6, we have the integral of 2x plus 1 over the square root of x squared plus x plus 1 dx. So we let u be equal to, let's try this expression under the square root x squared plus x plus 1. Getting the derivative of both sides, so derivative of u, that's du, derivative of the right side, differentiating term by term, derivative of x squared, that's 2x, plus derivative of x, that's 1, plus derivative of 1 is 0, so no need to write. So the derivative is just 2x plus 1, then don't forget to multiply it by dx. So notice that we have already created this expression, 2x plus 1 times dx in the derivative of x squared plus x plus 1. So that's just equal to du. So therefore, we can now substitute that will be integral of, so this 2x plus 1 quantity times dx, that's now equal to du, then over the square root of this whole expression, x squared plus x plus 1, that's now equal to u. So, we transform this square root in terms of fractional exponent first. So, that's integral of du over u to the 1 half and applying the negative law of exponent. So, 1 over u to the 1 half, that's the same as u to the negative 1 half du. So, applying power rule. So, integral of u to the negative 1 half, that will be u to the negative 1 half plus 1 over negative 1 half plus 1 plus c. So, simplifying, we have u to the negative 1 half plus 1, that's positive 1 half over negative 1 half plus 1, also 1 half. So, simplifying, get the reciprocal of 1 half, that will be 2 times u to the 1 half plus c, or that's simply 2 square root of u plus c. But don't forget, let's transform back the u in terms of x. So that's x squared plus x plus 1. So the final answer is 2 times the square root of x squared plus x plus 1 plus c. So therefore, this is the final answer. Okay, so I think that's it for this video, integration using new substitution. So I hope you learned something from this video and thank you for watching.